Hi, it's Chris here and welcome back to the studio. Is it too late for me to get started with Excel VBA? The purpose of the video is to encourage people like you to give it a go. I started Excel VBA relatively late in my career, not in my 40s, but in my late 20s, and it has had a career-changing, life-changing effect for me. So in this video, I'm gonna to try to convince you, I'm gonna give you five reasons why now is the best time for you to start Excel VBA. Now, if you're a bit older, it's more likely you've had some failures in your life, and this is gonna give you the resilience you need to be a good Excel VBA programmer. I've had so many failures in my life. I was made redundant from my job in 2008 uh, during the financial crash. I'm kind of a failed uh, cricketer. I was quite good when I was young, not very good now. And then even my YouTube videos, you know, I've got 40,000 subscribers, but I only get about three or 400 views. Think about my career, my business, as a succession of failures punctuated with the occasional success. But maybe, maybe that's the secret to my success as an Excel VBA programmer. It could be your secret as well because learning Excel VBA is tough. You're gonna get it wrong so many times. You're gonna get those error messages. I've seen so many people over the years not be able to deal with that and just kind of give up. So if you've had those failures, you've developed that resilience, that could be the critical quality that allows you to succeed with Excel VBA. Here at Tiger, we know, yes, spreadsheets are for humans. Yes, the impact of your programming is not determined by technical stuff, how good you are at VBA, how good you are at Power BI, something like that. It's can you apply those skills to human problems? Can real people make sense of your work. Now it's worth mentioning at this point, this is something I've learned recently in my career. There's two main modes of use of Excel. Firstly, there's the people who are solving problems for themselves. And for these people, you know, they can use any techniques because they're using the system themselves. They're gonna use the Excel file themselves. The other situation and the glory job, the more exciting situation in my view, is doing work for other people. And if you wanna get into consultancy, you wanna freelance, you wanna micro-sized business like me, you're gonna to have to do work for other people. And I'm suggesting if you're older, you're more experienced and better placed to do good work for other people, for your Excel VBA skills to have impact. That's just because you're more experienced. You've seen different business organizational situations. You've dealt with different contexts. So you're better placed to understand how a spreadsheet can have impact in the real world. The third reason is you know how to learn. Yes, I've already mentioned some of my failures in this video. I like learning stuff. I mentioned uh, I like sports. I like learning the drums. I learned Japanese, li lived in Japan for four years and learned Japanese. I, I, I learned French. I was a terrible French speaker as well back in the day. So when you're older, you're gonna have experience of learning things. And if you haven't got experience, why not go out and try to learn something? That means you'll have what we call here at Tiger a meta skill, a meta skill. So are you good at learning? Can you learn how to learn? And when I came to Excel VBA in my late 20s, I'd already learned a load of stuff in my life. I'd had a load of failures, but I'd also tried to learn a load of stuff, including uh, Japanese, you know, one of the most difficult languages. That set me up well for programming. So what have you learned in your life? I'm suggesting knowing how to learn is gonna help you with Excel VBA. The fourth reason is yes, you're gonna be better at engaging with powerful people. I'm talking about people in business, in organizations who can commission projects. If you want your spreadsheets to have impact in the real world, you're gonna to have to engage with someone. Yet somebody's gonna to have to get a project, commission a project from you. And I'm suggesting those managers, they tend to be older people. They'd rather speak to an older person than, you know, the typical young data geek who's, you know, wearing a hoodie, probably has a YouTube channel, and they'd just rather speak to somebody more like them. So that could be another strategic advantage that you have in your Excel VBA career. You can more readily and easily engage with the people who are making decisions in organizations. The fifth reason is you understand the value of community. And yes, there's a little bit of a sales pitch here because we have a great community on the YouTube channel just in the videos and live streams and stuff. We also have our Members Monday community, which is a paid service where you get a weekly live stream from me. And I've loved Members Monday this year because we have all kinds of people 
coming into Members Monday, we have, you know, university students in there, early career people, but a surprising number of late career people and retired people. Yes, people who are retired, they're getting into Excel VBA as a bit of a hobby later in life. And some of those people have actually got paid for projects. So I'm suggesting if you're a bit more experienced, you understand in life, you can't do everything on your own and you'll be more prepared, you'll have those skills to get involved with a learning community, whether it's the learning community on this channel or another learning community, open university type learning community. For example, you understand how a community can support you and help push forward your learning. That's the case with Excel VBA 2. All I wanna do really is to get people to understand the impact that Excel VBA can have on your career and on your life and on your life even later in your career. I came to Excel VBA after my career crisis. I got laid off in Japan, moved back to England here in the UK. I got into Excel VBA in my late 20s. I hadn't even touched a spreadsheet until I was in my late 20s, not quite my 40s, but still pretty old for uh, somebody who's now an Excel VBA programmer. So for these five reasons, don't be discouraged. Get involved with Excel VBA. Get yourself some video resources. Follow somebody like me. You might want to get involved with our community. I'd love to have you on the channel and good luck with your Excel VBA career.